So before the mobile apps, the YouTube channel, and me ever being a software engineer, I was in a position like a lot of you are today, having no idea what I want to do in the future and as a career. I knew that I was really good at computers since six, seven years old. Going into college where I learned the probability of me getting a good high paying job after college with computer science, that seemed like the best path to go towards. I mean, I had no idea what computer science was exactly. All I knew is it involved computers, technology, and things that I was already kind of interested in. So I went for it. I signed up for the highest possible intro class that I could have taken. And the name of that class was Advanced Data Structures and Programming. At the time that I was signing up for my first college course, I thought I was more than prepared for this one. I had attended a high school summer coding program. Other than that, I went on websites like Coding Bad and Code Academy in my free time. And I thought I had a pretty good understanding of coding. I thought that would easily translate to computer science just because it's computer science coding I thought those are the same thing so I signed up for the course I missed the little detail where the majority of the class was to be taught in C++ and up until that point I've been used to languages like Java and Python and I thought this would just be an easy transition this was just another one of those programming languages so class starts Monday morning I walk in late of course I come in at like 902 903 class starts at 9 so I walk in walk into the hall go to the first row and I turn to the left and I see the other like 29 30 students already there notebooks open taking notes and that was the first sign that maybe I'm not taking this class and this degree as seriously as I should. And boy, will I tell you how wrong I was about how prepared I was going to be. <laughs> Advanced Data Structures and Programming was a course where we learned about all of the basic but commonly used data structures. We have arrays, hash maps, trees, queues, and the class revolved around assignments and projects centered around these data structures. As we progressed, I found that I was quickly falling behind the rest of the class. It just took me much longer, I felt, to grasp the concepts than the rest of the other students. People were asking much smarter questions, and I could barely understand the question, let alone the answer to the question. And it just felt like everyone was just passing by me, and I started to feel like I didn't really understand what computer science was all about and maybe I wasn't really cut out to be a software engineer. So the first assignment that we had in the course was a series of small basic programming questions that at the time I thought I had a good handle on. I think I barely passed. Maybe I got like a 74 out of 100 on that first assignment. That should have been the sign that it's gonna get harder from here. But no, I was still kind of going at my usual lackadaisical pace and not really taking things seriously, not taking notes, not going to office hours. But that second project, I will never forget that one because that one was a partner project. We had to create a calculator. Now, if you don't know this, most programming languages today can execute arithmetic, arithmetic can basically do math on the spot compute mathematical expressions from addition and subtraction but this calculator was supposed to involve the use of stacks and cues because you know with PEMDAS you have parentheses then you have to handle exponents and multiplication so we had to essentially create a postfix calculator evaluate an expression in order in the correct mathematical order and when i tell you to this day i thank my partner so much and he's doing great things like he's working at a great company right now and i'm sure like he's loving life but that moment i we passed the project but because he carried he carried it. he carried me i'm not even gonna lie this class was moving at a pace much faster than i had imagined and i needed to do something and did i do something I spent every week where assignments were due just sitting in the library, staring at the screen, hoping that the answer would just pop into my head. I just spent hours and hours on questions that normally shouldn't have taken me that long. I didn't take advantage of resources that I had provided for me. I didn't ask my classmates for help. I didn't go to office hours and ask my professor for help. I just kept waiting. And what was I waiting for? Some realization in my head that I wasn't cut out for this field, to be honest. Like the class was so hard realizing that that was just the intro class and the successive courses during my time in college are going to be even worse. I thought about maybe switching majors, honestly, even though I love working with computers and coding seemed like a fun task, that class made me miserable. 
so what did change things was during my midterms where we had to create another project to hand in the night before it was due i sent an email to my professor basically telling him like hey like i love this class learning about computer science is great i just am falling behind i don't know what to do everything is just way too difficult for me and i just wanted to ask him what could i do to possibly salvage my grade and hopefully maybe pass and when i tell you my professor came through for me man to the yo he basically said hey I know, I can tell you were struggling. As long as I continue to hand assignments in and I start handing more of them in on time, I attend all the classes, go to all the labs, and really, really try my best to participate and engage in class, he'll do his best to pass me. And that's what I did for the rest of the semester. For my major, in order for it to count as a computer science credit, I needed to get a C minus. That C minus seemed so unattainable. And if I couldn't get it with this intro class, it was just gonna be tough. And my grade for that semester after everything happened, drum roll, I got a C minus. Did I deserve that C minus? No, of course not. But I really worked as much as I could. I worked three times as much as I did that first half. I guess my professor recognized it. Understand that everybody goes through a struggle and you shouldn't ever feel alone. If you're watching this video right now, you have a similar story to mine or you're going through something like this now, just know that there's one extra person in the world that was struggling with his favorite subject and thought he wasn't cut out for it. I was here assuming that the other 29 students in the class just had everything down, were perfect, and got perfect grades on everything. But for all I know, maybe half of them were struggling, but just kept up the face that they weren't. And it just happens in life. Like sometimes we don't really know what people are going through because you're not them and you don't see what they choose not to show to you. So I guess that's the lesson. I don't know. I'm just happy I ended up here. That's enough talking. That was, this was a software engineer story time of almost failing out of computer science. That is it for this story time. Don't forget to click that big red subscribe button and also thumbs up the video because that really does a lot for my channel. And thank you all for watching. Peace.